Just got done doing Pilates, which if you haven't tried it, it's amazing. I don't know why, but I always feel like a little better. I think it's because like the exercise has helped with the blood flowing. I think I have a double chin. Um, something I wanted to say was that you know, even when you think the day is really bad, it could always be worse. And try to make every day as special as you can. If someone has to hurry up, go help them for a bit. You know, there's a lot worse things than being, you know, sad all the time. I had nightmares last night, like literally weird nightmares, like just involved a lot of people dying. Everyone has nightmares every once in a while. I wonder if I watch a scary movie or something. That's what happened. But uh, yeah, and it just. I woke up, I felt really appreciate, I appreciate the things I did have, the things I don't no longer do have, but, you know, the one thing I would like to say is that we're all people, every once one of us, no matter how bad it seems, no matter how bad it gets, sometimes people lose hope. One time I saw this kid, um, I saw him before, I was doing bottles and he swore to God I went to school with him and I had to tell him, dude, I never went to school with you. But like, he looked like he was not doing well. You know, this was like three o'clock in the morning, like when I was opening, or when I was cleaning out bottles um, for a company. And I see him like, I want to say probably like a month or so later, he was in front of 7-Eleven. And it's on Veterans Day. And he looks at me and said, remember your veterans. It's Veterans Day. I had no idea it was Veterans Day at the time. Because, you know, when you work retail, all the days kind of just flip off together. I went in, bought two copies, and gave him one. And I walked out. You know what? I've never seen that dude again. I don't know if he wasn't straighten up in his life. What I did made a difference. I'm not sure. But I can tell you he wasn't walking around around that street anymore. He was sitting in front of 7-Eleven shivering. He wasn't being mean or anything. He was just. Have you ever seen someone that just looked like they, they were just. Something happened, and he just wasn't the same anymore. I'm, I don't think it was drugs. I don't know if he saw someone die or something. What happened? But he. He was not okay. But that little difference could have helped him. I don't know. I don't know what the chain reaction was. Something I'm going to tell you and, you know, something I learned throughout the years is someone once told me, he said, you know, uh, he gave me a ride from school one time when my parents couldn't and I didn't have any money for a cab. And I was like, okay, man, I'll get you back later. He looked at me and said, no, I want you to go off someone else. And you know what? Someone did that to him when he was a kid and I have done that since. It's those things that make a difference that you don't see that really make the difference. Just remember that.